today we celebrate the memorial feast of the presentation of the blessed virgin mary tradition tells us that mary at a very tender age was presented in the temple and there she remained and served the lord in the temple until she was given in marriage with joseph today also being saturday let us renew our love and devotion to the blessed virgin mary and intercede with her that we too may become effective instruments in the hands of god we too may become a dwelling place for god in our own lives in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace and peace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship and communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit, spirit. to prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy eucharist worthily let us call to our mind our sinfulness shortcomings and failures and ask the lord pardon and mercy i confess to our mighty god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary the virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy let us pray As we venerate the glorious memory of the most holy virgin Mary grant we pray O Lord through her intercession that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace Through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the prophet sagaraya Sing and rejoice O daughter of Zion for behold I come and I will dwell in your midst declares the Lord and many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day and shall be my people and I will dwell in your midst and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you and the Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the holy land and will again choose jerusalem be silent all flesh before the lord for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling the word of the lord thanks, thanks be lord. to god some our response He who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He, He who, who is, is mighty, mighty has, has done, done great things, things for me and holy is his, his name. name. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my savior. He, He who, who is mighty, mighty has done great things for me and holy is his, his name. name. For he has looked on the humble estate of his servant for behold from now on all generations will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation He has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts he, he who is mighty has done great things for me 
and holy is his name. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with the good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He, he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and to his offspring forever. He, he who is, is mighty has, has done, done great things for me, and holy is his name. Gospel acclamation. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, while Jesus was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brothers stood outside, asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, None of the evangelists tell us anything about the early life of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The devotion to the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary comes from a tradition which originates a century after Mary's life here on earth. The presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is explained in a very delightful manner in an apocryphal text, the Proto-Evangelium of James, which is written perhaps around the year 200 AD. This book gives a very colorful account of the many events in the early life of Mary. Joachim, her father, wished to offer her in the temple, to present her in the temple at a very tender age. And he expressed this desire to his wife Anna. And Anna restrained him in executing this until the age of three. At the age of three, Mary was taken by both her parents along with a lot of virgin Hebrew girls with the lighted lamps in a procession to the temple in Jerusalem. And there the priest receives her, blesses her and kisses her in welcome. And the priest proclaims at that time, the Lord will magnify your name in all generations. He will manifest his redemption in you through to the children of Israel. And Mary was placed on the third step of the temple and she danced in joy and all the house of Israel loved her. And Mary remained in that temple and served the Lord until she was given in betrothal to Saint Joseph. The focus of the narrative is that from her very early childhood, Mary was completely and totally dedicated to the Lord in service and she offered herself completely to the Lord. And that is the point 
that we are called to reflect and learn from Mary, complete surrender of our life to God in our own lives. If the temple in Jerusalem was the dwelling place of God, a place where God was believed to be present in a very special way, Mary later became the dwelling place of God in a much greater way by carrying the Lord in her womb until she gave birth to him. And God came to her because she was completely open to the presence of the Lord, completely surrendered herself to the Lord and therefore the Lord came to dwell in her. In today's gospel, Jesus tells his disciples, those who do the will of my heavenly father, they are my father, brother, mother, brothers and sisters. Mary is the prime example of those who do, did the will of God. She did the will of God at every moment of her life. At the Annunciation when the angel brought her the design of God, when she told the angel, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let what you have said be done to me. Mary did the will of God. When the events unfolded in her lives, when she accepted it without questioning God, even though on many occasions it was painful and she did not understand fully the meaning of those events, and when she pondered everything in her heart and accepted it, Mary did the will of God. When she followed the footsteps of Jesus to, the, to Calvary, to the cross, Mary did the will of God. And therefore Mary is the prime example of those who did the will of God. Today, you and I are invited to do the will of God. We are all called to be the temple of God. St. Paul writing to the church in Corinth says, Do you not know that you are the temple? You are the dwelling place of God. Even as we are invited to be the dwelling place of God, even as we are invited to be doers of God's word, let's ask through Mary's intercession that we accept everything that come on our way, everything that God plans in our lives with docility and humility like Mary did in her life. And may God bless all of us. May this meeting of the water and wine may be shared with him to Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, please receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that your blessing of this sacrifice May by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> 
<coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name, O Blessed Virgin, Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, all the bishops and clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us share among ourselves god's gift of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Behold Jesus Christ the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world happy are we who are invited to share in this banquet of love lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep me safe for eternal life My Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen <clears throat> he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food we humbly implore you O Lord that having received your son born of the tender virgin under sacramental signs we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds who lives and reigns forever and ever Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.